Hi there. Uh, this is Douglas, and I'm going to conduct uh, again the experiment about the grain of sand, how it doesn't become a pearl. But uh, now, thanks to modern technology, we have a high-definition camera that will take care of the shooting. But so far, what I want uh, to show you is the setup that we're having. It's better than last time. We have a white sheet of paper behind this aquarium. We have sand, uh -huh. freshly collected from Bakochi Bampo Bay that we're going to get inside the oyster. The aquarium, of course, has uh, uh, salt water, which has just been poured. Behind, we have some lighting, so we can see better what's happening once the oyster starts shooting out the sand. And finally, we have an oyster, and this one is a bigger one. It's a black lip pearl oyster, a Pintara Mazatlanica. Have you ever wondered why it's a black lip? Look inside. Okay, black. That's the reason why they're called black lips. Not only that, it's the shell has the inner coloration. It's really dark, but uh, a very important reason is this one. So the oyster is slightly wedged. Actually, you can see I can move the wedge. It's not reactive. So I can actually remove one of the wedges, but uh, I'm going to use them to pour the sand in. If I don't do this, it will close and I won't be able to get the sand. Okay, so afterwards, the oyster will be put in the water tank without the wedges and we will just start shooting in a time-lapse uh, manner. The oyster will not be harmed. Okay, thanks. And I hope you enjoy the video. So, we're about to start now. So, what's going to happen? The first thing, we have to feed this little baby. And a lot of people actually believe that pearl oysters and other oysters are spoon-fed. They're not. They're filter feeders. So basically they absorb, they take the phytoplankton and other forms of plankton, nanoplankton, out of the ocean water. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spoon feed them, but on this occasion, basically I'm going to spoon feed them with sand. So here it goes. The user doesn't necessarily like this, but don't worry, no harm is being done. So we're back again. The oyster has been properly fed. It's filled to the rim. I mean, totally full of sand. So at this moment, actually, you see that a couple of drippings. It's a messy idiot eater. Okay. Okay. So this oyster will be ready to be placed in the water container. I will just remove these wedges. But since I have to do this in Spanish as well. I'm not recording this uh, with two different oysters doing this twice. Um, you will have to wait, okay? So now, second time to wait. I've just removed the wedges, okay? I did the Spanish portion of the video, and you can see the oyster right there. That's where the wedge was. The oyster is not closing, so I'm guessing it doesn't feel alert or damaged in any way but now we're finally ready to put it back and put it into the water okay so that's exactly what I'm going to start doing and I'm gonna shoot with another camera so give me a sec <laughs> we'll have another camera but this is just the beginning so what we're doing right now it's we have the wizard it actually started closing it can't totally close because it's uh, full of sand so now we're just going to immerse it in water. As you can see, the first thing that has happened is that some of the sand already exited the oyster's body, which would be normal. And now the oyster you can see some bubbles there, and the oyster will begin doing its work maybe after a couple of minutes. So.
So sand doesn't remain inside the oysters. The oysters are totally capable of removing all the sand you place inside their bodies. In nature, it would be just the same. Sand gets in their body, they just take it out. So it's not sand. What is it? And it will amaze you, but that's the next video, okay? Now, we've known that sand is not the culprit since the 18th century, when a French gemologist by the name of Louis Saron, and basically he cut hundreds of pearls in half, and he looked inside and he said, I have yet to find a grain of sand. What I always find is, and that's what's coming up in the next video. So stay tuned. And thank you for watching. Hope you like this updated version of the grain of sand myth. Thanks.